Welcome again to another X Aaron review. Today I'll be looking at Transformers Power Core Combiners Steel Shot. Steel Shot is part of the Power Core Combiners subline, and as such has a very nifty gimmick, which I'll talk about in a little bit. He's a direct repaint of Power Core Combiner Bomb Shock, though he's an Autobot where Bomb Shock was a Decepticon. First, let's take a look at Steel Shot's alternate mode. He's a military vehicle of some sort, though, whether based on an actual vehicle or a conglomeration of styles, I can't say. I'm not really familiar with these things. He seems to be going for a desert vehicle look, what with the brown colors and the camouflage paint applications. The alternate mode is okay, though I wish they could have hidden the blue combiner ports that hang off the back of the vehicle. He sports a rotating turret with two cannons that can raise and lower individually. Also, all six of his wheels rotate. All in all, he's okay, as I said, and about what you'd expect for the alternate mode of a scout size figure. Now onto robot mode. Start. Change. Finish. Steel Shot's robot mode is pretty decent for a scout class figure. While the mold itself hasn't changed at all from Bomb Shock's, the colors and paint applications on this one give it a completely different vibe. He's got some gold, silver, blue, and orange painted in details in this mode, as well as more of the camouflage motif. Unfortunately, Steel Shot's only Autobot symbol is on the side of his left arm, and it's in silver. I remember the days when Transformers wore their fashion symbols proudly, and they came in Autobot Red or Decepticon Purple, and sometimes were outlined in silver or white. Ah, well. Steel Shot has some pretty good articulation. Most of his moving parts are on ball joints, and that gives him a wide range of motion. His legs are hindered somewhat by a flap hanging at his crotch area, but as the flap moves too, you can work around it. He does sport a backpack consisting of the vehicle mode's turret, but it really doesn't detract from the figure. Unfortunately, blue combiner ports are readily visible in this mode, both on his arms and at the back of his legs. Steel Shot's only accessory is his Minicon partner, Beacon. Beacon is unique among the Minicons packed with the Power Core Combiner figures, at least so far, because he's the only Minicon to be molded in a solid color. All the other Minicons are made from clear plastic, including Backwind, which Beacon is a repaint of. Beacon serves a couple of different purposes. He becomes a weapon for Steel Shot in vehicle mode, and he also becomes a gun for Steel Shot to hold in robot mode. Beacon also has a power-up armor mode, where he fits into a minicon port at the back of Steel Shot. To be honest, this does nothing more than add to Steel Shot's backpack and doesn't really do anything for the figure. On a final note, it's a pity that his bright red coloring doesn't really go along with Steel Shot's desert camouflage motif. Now, Steel Shot has one gimmick, one that all Power Core Combiner Transformers have. Steel Shot can transform into a third mode, this time becoming a... torso. So, let's get him transformed. Start. Change. Change. Finish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, for this mode to be effective, you'll need to have four Power Core Combiner drones. Steel Shot does not come packaged with his own drones. As such, I've pulled out my Protectabot drones, which are sold separately with the Autobot stakeout. These four drones, a helicopter, a half-track, a tank, and a jet, do not transform into individual robots. Their sole purpose is to combine as limbs with a Power Core Combiner Transformer. This is Steel Shot, combined with the Protectabot drones, in his power-up mode. The Protectabot drones don't really match color-wise with Steel Shot, but then again, there really is no set of drones that does. For what it is, it looks pretty good. You'll notice that Steel Shot has a separate head for his power-up mode, one that's a bit larger than his robot mode head. 
This, too, sports the desert camouflage decoration. Articulation is somewhat limited. The legs can bend at both hip and knee, but the arms only rotate at the shoulder. It's difficult to get him into very many poses in this mode, as the Protectabot drones that form the legs, especially the jet, are very unstable. And it's a minor chore getting him to stand in any position except with his legs completely straight. Still, in all, a rather menacing looking robot, and it's where Steel Shot really shines. This guy looks like a large, lumbering, asymmetrical amalgamation. Now onto the tech specs. Steel Shot's ultimate mode gets a 7.5. It's functional, but the blue combiner ports detract from the aesthetic somewhat. Robot mode receives an 8. He's pretty decent for a Scout class figure, but like the alternate mode, those combiner ports kind of get in the way. Transformation gets an 8. It's fun, yet simple, and as an added bonus, Steel Shot has a third mode that just adds to his playability. Steel Shot's articulation gets an 8.5. You can get him into a variety of different poses. And even though the awkwardness of the drones limit his posability in power-up mode, still they're not part of Steel Shot's package, so they don't add or detract from the articulation score. Score for Steel Shot's gimmick is a 9. The power-up mode, with the addition of the four drones, is the heart of the Power Core Combiner line, and Steel Shot pulls it off well. Overall, Steel Shot gets an 8. While he is a repaint, he does what he does so very well, and his colors really distinguish him from Bomb Shot, with whom he shares his mold. Of course, his power-up mode is useless without any drones to attach, but this really is a small complaint. Recommended. Steel Shot ultimately is a neat little figure. His Minicon partner slash accessory is versatile, with four separate modes. Steel Shot's gimmick is awesome when he's combined with four drones. The Power Core Combiner line has been maligned somewhat because of some lackluster figures, but Steel Shot is one of the better Transformers in it. Sure, I may be a bit partial because I really love me some combiners, but Steel Shot, repaint though he may be, is a good Transformer. Pick this one up if you get the chance. This has been an ex Aaron review of Power Core Combiner's Steel Shot. Thanks for watching and come back soon, you hear?